uh, and I was talking to you know that uh, uh, your uh, budget needs to be multiply increased. You know the kind of activities which you are doing, you really they deserve really more more <laughs> budget to be given. And with uh, Secretary Ayush Rajeji sitting here, I am sure it will happen because once he looks into something, he sees that it happens. You know. <laughs> Uh, thank you uh, very much. I am so delighted to uh, also witness Her Highness to be here. Uh, thank you very much for being part of this. Uh, I am going to talk about uh, mainly health care, you know, uh, and Ayush in integrative health care. Uh, so the, and I ask this question whether this is a chimeric notion or is it a new normal. So now when I look at the chimeric notion, you know, in mythology, you will find chimera normally are like monsters. In Greek mythology, if you see most or even Chinese mythology, chimeras are monsters. And in our mythology, chimeras are deities, you know, Narasimha, you know, it's kind of a chimera. So the technology and the combination, if you look at the nature, uh, April 21, they have published the uh, uh, blastocyte of monkey human chimeras, you know. So this is not going to be only a fantasy. Things are coming into reality. And uh, if you look at the new normal in USA, several institutions in India, several institutions, Nimans we have here today, you know, they already have started doing this integrative approaches to healthcare. So this is not new, but I'm going to share with you something and leave it to you, whether it's a chimeric notion or a new normal. Accepting Bohr committee. Because Bohr committee very intelligently suppressed Indian knowledge system, you know, and accepting that which was happened in 1946, all other committees, Sokhe committee, Chopra committee, Pandit committee, Dave committee, Udupa, Mudliar, Srivastava, Bajaj, up to 12th plan, 11th and 12th plan, Darshan and I were part of it, you know. We had so much of difficulty including name only, integrative name. In our report, we had to struggle, but then Dr. Katoch came in at rescue and we could actually push this very strongly uh, in the uh, 12th plan uh, and then subsequently you will see now that uh, new strategy, uh, uh, new India strategy uh, of Niti Aayog followed by national health policy very prominently and boldly talk about integrative approaches and then national education policy, new education policy 2020, Dr. Kasturu Rangan also has talked about this very boldly. So it has been a long way on this side, you know. And if you look at what is happening globally, you know, China, Korea, Japan, America, Canada, European Union, Australia, all over, all over, all top medical schools are adopting it. I am happy that IISC has really taken the lead because IISC or demands or aims are like uh, institutions where others follow and this is something happening in India uh, is, is very, uh, the vision what I really wanted to uh, share with you is we are undergoing an integrative transition for good health and well-being. You know. On one side because of COVID pandemic we have witnessed what situation and what is the real status of our healthcare is. It exposed our healthcare in a way, you know. It is based on experimental approach completely, you know. Today we talk about evidence-based medicine which involves science and technology, but it is all. There is experiential approach also. You know. Experience and uh, experimentation needs to be together. Traditional medicine system, the traditional knowledge wisdom is practice-based approach. It means practice-based evidence is equally important as evidence-based medicine. And when we talk about typical narrow approach of evidence-based medicine today, you will find all over the world it has been questioned now. The current approach is being questioned. The kind of clinical data which you uh, believe and which you use as evidence is not reproducible. No, Ms. John Evinodis, if you look at his uh, data, what he is talking about, it is eye-opener. So what is this is happening? Illness, sickness, drug-centric curative approach, slowly we are uh, going into person health wellness-centric integrative approach, you know. So currently we are in this domain, medical care, which is remote disease symptoms and treatment. We are moving now into preventive care, which is about prognosis diet and lifestyle based intervention and we have to really go towards real health care which is about public health and personalized medicine. You know why I am saying real health care, we use term health care but in our mind we think of medical care. 
and we are equating health and medicine terms as synonyms which they are not you know in reality we are what we are giving typically this is a western notion healthcare term why they started using term healthcare because the basics of healthcare they were to give nobody squats on the road there they get safe drinking water so all these basics were taken care and therefore healthcare they started but we have a large and much complex uh, challenges to uh, attain and so this opportunity of healthcare reforms which we are facing today and with niti ayog uh, there has been a committee and our report is uh, likely to be finalized very soon uh, rajiv was part of that darshan was part of it uh, you know and uh, rajesh ji has given tremendous leadership at the government to transform all this because unless a uh, ministerial support is there and we all know that besides all this kind of effort how much difficulty we still are facing uh, to sell the real story you know uh, what is needed uh, for our country if you look at what people need you know people need they, they need choices they need choices but essentially when you talk about healthcare what is it about it is about primary care it is about family medicine and self care which what darshan talked about the fourth layer rajesh ji also mentioned this is about disease diagnosis and prevention and public health these four boxes are extremely important in healthcare now look at this modern medicine is able to give you communicable diseases diagnosis emergency medicine acute care palliative care surgery precision medicine fantastic advances have happened here but look at this are you systems non communicable diseases chronic conditions mental health and wellness diet nutrition immunity lifestyle behavior modification personalized medicine so these are clear strengths of both the disciplines we are not able to really integrate them or bring them together because we are not putting patient or person at the center we are putting something else as our priority you know the most important component which is ignored in our country is this family physician you know family medicine that used to be strength of our entire system which we are losing and md in family medicine is underway and we are fighting to tell them that please keep eligibility open to all medical graduate why md in family medicine should be only to allopathy because your mbbs is not giving them any of these new age skills which are required today they are not giving them you know so this but i hope uh, with uh, uh, everybody's effort uh, we will succeed and we'll be able to strengthen uh, this now look at the power of traditional knowledge system dr rajesh ko vaidya rajesh kotecha and i'm so happy that he insists calling him as vaidya rajesh kotecha this kind of a uh, atma sanman when we have you know atma nirbhar bharat transition will be much easier uh, look at this if you look at this google human metabolic network you know such a complex map after looking at this map if you believe that one target we are going to discover one drug and we are going to do magic in drug like this is like diabetes i think we are living in a fool's paradise it is not going to happen because we are living in multigenic polygenic multi target environment and solutions are not going to be simple you know the systems ayurveda chart which you will see on the uh, i am campus here which we produced in 2011 and systems rasayana chart is expansion of just one small component or one small dot which is on this chart expanded expanded to this level you know expanded to this level so on this chart you will find that there are 230 knowledge points drawn from ayurveda each knowledge point is a great idea and each knowledge point can actually lead to what rajesh ji talked about to a discovery or what uh, but professor but talked about you know discovery not only 19 2015 uu2 for artemisinin 2016 for uh, autophagy fasting related research you know 2017 nobel prize dinacharya rutucharya base biological rhythms you know 2018 nobel prize you know cancer treatment immune regulation which relates to rasayana therapy you know all this actually what we do when somebody discovers we tell them that we knew it and it is in our shastra professor murthy now we have to take a different route you know we have to find out and we have to look at our knowledge systems as ideas pool of ideas and each of these ideas be it mahabhuta dosha dhatu mala ama agni kleda sara ojas dravya guna rasa kosha prana each of them is a noble idea you know 
but we have to really put our minds and soul in it to expand it on further and uh, bring in institutions like ISC because I personally feel that it is our fiduciary responsibility as scientists working in India if you are getting salary from public money we have to look at our own knowledge systems. On the same theme, I wrote an editorial in Current Science some time back and a similar editorial we wrote, Whose Duty Is It Anyway? And that was published in Annals of Neurology. As a con conglomeration uh, of all this, what I talked about, you know, one very important uh, thing has happened and I must give credit to Vaidya Rajesh Kotecha and the entire Ayush Ministry. Prime Minister's vision and Prime Minister leadership we have now WHO has selected India to establish WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine which will be established in Jamnagar and this is the center which is uh, coming up uh, uh, for the first time now under the WHO umbrella Ayurveda, Ayush systems and traditional medicine will get a due global recognition to bring science out of it, synthesis evidence out of it, bring it in practice and ultimate purpose will be as you said triple A, you know affordable accessibility and availability of healthcare will be boosting ultimately it will be a people centric activity and I am so happy to see here a lot of people in not only in this hall I know that hundreds of there are there outside when I was traveling on this road it was like a festivity you know all people coming from different areas, different cultures, so happily walking around and looking around here. So I congratulate uh, organizers for